Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I am back in the laboratory in Southwest Florida and I'm excited for a few reasons. Well, it's just great to be here. Uh, weather is great, the sun is shining. I'm inside so I'm not enjoying it, but I will get out there as soon as I'm done with this video. Anyway, I'm excited for having this here. This is a uh, robotic image collection system that my old university was uh, happy to contribute to my new university. This is a really old system. Um, it runs on a really old computer right back there. Um, and the system itself is, um, you know, it's a belt driven uh, robotic system. It's got all old equipment. You can't even buy it anymore. It's really difficult to, uh, to repair, to fix, but I know how to do it. And so it had really limited value to my old university where it had a lot of value to me where I'm here and I can work on it. So I got it in general. I have it assembled, but there's still stuff that needs to be connected, but I, I got it here. It's really heavy. This is a very heavy um, microscope with really good capabilities, an old digital camera right here. But the thing is, it's on a long uh, boom stand, and the boom stand has a base on it that I think probably is a, about 120 pounds. It was difficult to pick up and move around. Um, but I got the whole, and everything here, this is all old stuff, so everything here is really heavy. Um, so I'm happy to have it here. What I use this system for in my old university laboratory was to generate, uh, just to do automated image capture underneath a microscope of tissues that were growing. I did a lot of fluorescence uh, detection work uh, in that laboratory in my previous university. And um, so I won't really use that here. I'll do white light image collection and I want to take a look at tissue growth over time here if I can get this thing um, running again. So it's really cool to generate. And what you do is you can do image analysis on those, but you can also splice individual images together and generate time-lapse animations, which I think are really fascinating to, to see how things happen quickly. You can see things in time-lapse that you can't see, obviously, with the naked eye. So that's what this system was designed to do. Uh, under fluorescence and, and white light uh, image collection. Um, and, and we'll see if I can get it running here and we'll see if I can use it to collect, Im collect images of, for example, uh, orchid uh, seedling or orchid, orchid protocorm uh, formation over time, uh, root growth, tissue growth, all those types of things I should be able to do with this system. Um, and, and the platform for this is, is right here and it, it holds uh, petri dishes. So everything is, all the images are collected under this dissecting microscope. So you can, you can get some different things than, uh, than what you normally could do. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm back and uh, I was in the laboratory this morning taking a look at some of my deflast seedlings and I was a little um, a little worried about how they would do because I didn't want to uh, acclimate them I didn't want to pull the cover off of the container so they were in these containers under very high humidity uh, under 100 percent humidity and I haven't let some cases I, I, I usually um, start to acclimate after a month, month and a half, but all, many of these seedlings were in there uh, two, two and a half months, so I was a little worried that in that closed container I'd get some rotting, there'd be some issues. Uh, I was very happy to see that all of the plants look great, all the seedlings look great, and that's what I want to do for the rest of my time here with you, is to get behind the camera, go into the culture room, and show you some of the seedlings that I deflasted anywhere from two to three months ago. Uh, one of the things that I want to emphasize is that I have an experiment where I evaluated horticubes. And these are some, these are, this is a, a material that, um, from Oasis that I wanted to evaluate for orchid seedlings. And I didn't know how it would work. This stuff absorbs just a lot of water. Uh, and I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know if the roots would crawl over it or through it or 
how it worked, but the plants, they grow differently uh, in the horticubes. Um, and I wanted to share some of those results with you too. So I'm gonna, we'll take a look at some of the seedlings that are grown, various seedlings that I have that were grown in Orchiata. And then we'll take a look as a comparison, uh, we'll take a look at how some comparable plants are doing in the horticubes. Again, under 100% humidity in closed containers, and then I'm gonna acclimate them over time. Okay, so let's take a look in the culture room and I'll show you what those seedlings look like. Okay, I am back in the culture room now. And these are some of the deflasked seedlings that were taken out. I just looked at the date on the side of the container and they were taken out about two and a half months ago. So this is longer than I usually let them go, but you can see they're doing they're doing pretty well. I mean, you know, look at this is a you know, this is a pretty big leaf for a newly deflasked plant, but all of these leaves are, are growing um, pretty nicely. And the plants themselves are growing good. The, the roots, when you look at them, are still uh, doing well. I highlighted this plant because it's, it's actually a sibling of uh, this plant right here. And it's got some really unusual uh, leaf shape. I'm not sure if it's a sibling of, let me take a look at it. Yeah, it's actually a sibling of the big leaf plant right here. So this is a sibling of this with the big leaf that I showed you before. But um, the main thing is everything in here looks, there's a couple of different uh, plant, couple, couple, of cross, couple of different crosses in here. Uh, but the plants all look pretty good, which kind of surprised me. There was no, um, you know, no rot, no noticeable damage on most of the plants. I had a couple of plants that where I had to snip the end of the leaf off because it, it was starting to brown a little bit, but that's just the two. And I've got, I've got a lot of plants here, so, um, so there's a lot the, here that looks good. This is a, um, this is another cross that's pretty old, and um, the, I pulled these out when the plant, they were, the plants were a little bit smaller than I would have liked. Uh, but what happened is I was looking at flasks, and look at that root growth there on that seedling. Pretty nice. And again, these were deflasked a while ago. Again, another nice root growth there. Um, but I think I'm going to start pulling the cover off of these things and acclimate them. Anyway, let me get back to the story. What I was doing with one of the flasks from this cross is I was <laughs> looking at the laboratory, and I dropped it on the floor, and it just cracked it's I some you know I use plastic for some but this was in a glass flask and it cracked and so I said okay I'm gonna have to pot these guys up and they were a little small but they're doing okay they're doing well and again they're a little small these this should be a uh, you know a really big um, cattleya but um, any anyway uh, they're they're doing okay over here again some more this is uh here's some more cat layers, and all these are the same i don't have tags in here and same thing with the previous box and so when you go over here these are all the same so they're not tagged yet again let's go back to the first box so these are tagged because i've got a mix of two different of, i think two different crosses in there uh, but when you take a look at this Again, these are big. These are pretty nice-looking plants. They're doing, um, they're doing pretty well. And um, yeah, so so anyway, they're 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 pretty nice. They're you don't see as many roots on this, but the plants themselves are big. <laughs> they look big. This is from a, a large cattleya, so I'm expecting this plant to get fairly big. All right. So moving up here, I'm going to take a look over here now is these are uh, encyclias that have been sitting in here again for quite a while. And you can see the, you know, the root growth is still good. I, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with these. Whenever you let plants sit in the same, I mean, it's not a sealed container, but it had a lid on it. And whenever that happens, you gotta be a little bit concerned about, uh, you know, enough, enough CO2 getting in and they were, they were covered for for a while 
but you know, come on, that's those those plants look pretty good. Um, you know, nice root growth on the surface of these guys, and the plants look pretty good. So I was really happy to come back and see the quality of new growth that I was still having. I think they might have slowed down a little bit. I think probably if I tried acclimating them, they may, they may speed up again. So I'm hoping for another surge of growth now. Okay, um, let's take a look over here. And these are the Horta cubes. So I've got uh, one of my crosses right here, one of my Cattleya crosses right here, and the first few rows of this. And this is, again, a synthetic. It's kind of like a rock, really soft rock wool um, material, and so and these are encyclias back here, and the roots on the encyclias, when you look at them, the roots are um, they kind of turn pink, and that's just from exposure uh, of all the roots to the light, as shown here. But what was interesting? Let's see, see if I could find it. But look, you know, there's good root growth. But what happens on this is these ro roots. And I can see if I can find what I was looking at. You can't see it. Uh, you got to pull this out a little bit. You can't see it here that well. Uh, but what happens with these roots is they grow through. And you may be able to see it there. They actually grow through this stuff. And in some cases, let me see if I can see the best example. I'm probably not going to be able to find it now that I'm recording. Uh, but the roots actually grow, there it is right there. So this root from this plant right here, you can see it went into this material and then it grew out through and then it grew out from the other side of it. So I think that's what's happening throughout. You can't see it because I kind of put these things in between uh, these, these large um, cracks, not in the holes because that, it just wasn't appropriate. It, it just wasn't technically feasible to do that, but I went through, um, you know, I, I planted these plants in the cracks, but again, from there, you can see that root that's in the middle of your screen that's growing through it and then coming out the other side, and I think that's probably what we're going to see throughout. It's, it's hard to tell. Once I start breaking these things apart, I think it'll become a, a little more clear. Um, anyway, again, the, from the uh, encyclias, uh, we're getting, I think, some pink coloration. You know, it may be stress, I don't know, maybe a stress response, but it may be just they're, they're sitting on the surface of this stuff. It may be how they respond to this material, I, I, I don't know. But the plants themselves seem to be doing okay. Okay, so that's all I have today. Just wanted to give you um, kind of an overview of what has happened in the culture room to my seedlings and uh, just let you know I'm going to acclimate. I also got a lot of stuff to get big and I got to I got to do a, we're probably going to have another deflasking party of my orchid breeding group this week. Uh, just got a lot of stuff going on. Seedlings look good. The new the seeds that I plated look look good. That I flasked look good. Uh, everything's everything's going well. So it's a busy time, yay, and uh, lots of stuff to do. All right, that's all I have for today. If you like what you saw today and you want to keep on seeing my videos, it would help me out if you would click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and happy propagating.